Hi, and welcome to something that I think is pretty cool, and which you'll see in just a bit. So getting right into it, let's go back in time to March of 2021. I'd recently gotten some of these new dog bags, for the dog obviously, and they claimed to be completely biodegradable, which I thought was super cool. But I didn't really know how to prove if they were actually biodegradable, since I had heard that some things claimed to be so, but in reality took a while to decompose. So I decided to put it to the test, as in actually letting it sit for a while and seeing how long it took to decompose. So I started out with this box here, and then put in a little square of, first on the right, a normal paper towel as sort of a control, then in the middle the supposedly biodegradable bag, and on the left just a normal Ziploc bag. So the goal of course was to see how quickly these decomposed relative to each other. So I just went and filled up the box with dirt, put the lid on and flipped it upside down so you could see the bags, and just left it there. Now I had a box of dirt. So here it is on March 27th, day one. The plan was to take a picture of it every day and see how it changed. I didn't exactly do that, but let's move on. Starting off, as you can see, it was the spring and it got wet pretty quickly from the rain. And the actual plastic bag may look like it's not there, but I promise it is. It's just obviously transparent, so it's harder to see. And later on, the pictures kind of got less and less frequent. But as you can see, I also started to notice some bits of plant life and stuff like that starting to grow in the dirt. And that was completely separate from the experiment, but I thought it was pretty interesting. So now here we are on the day I decided to end the experiment, November 3rd. At least when I'm recording this. On day 222, over seven months into this. And it really wasn't like a sort of long run experiment sort of thing, it was literally just something that I left and kind of forgot about. I kind of forgot it was even going to be a video, so I didn't even record it, but I'll just tell you the results when I opened it. The tissue, of course, was long gone, and on the contrary, the plastic bag seemed to be completely fine. But interestingly enough, the supposedly biodegradable bag was mostly gone. It had been completely present, at least it appeared so for most of the time, but just sort of towards the end of it, it appeared to just sort of degrade a little bit. So I had kind of expected it to be just a lie, but a bit of a pleasant surprise. But the main thing that I thought was interesting was pretty unrelated to the experiment, and that was what I like to call the nature prism. As it had been sitting there, I didn't even really think about it at all, but it had been sitting in a sealed off environment from the cold, and it also had a steady supply of water from whenever it rained because the water would just get trapped in there. So it was the perfect environment for growing plants, and I think that's really cool. It was something that, again, I didn't really consider at all. And obviously this is a complete tangent away from the experiment at hand, but that experiment's done, and I like this a lot better. As you can tell, I pulled it out of the plastic container, and it really was just sort of a rectangular prism that, surprisingly enough, held its shape. And I think the amount of different things that grew in there, the grasses and the moss and the little flowers, are just they're just so beautiful. And it's kind of reinvigorated my interest in biology a little more, which, it's fun. And because of that, I decided to, heck, maybe practice a bit of photography. But without any further ado, I'll let you see some pictures of it, which I took, which I think are decent, but I don't know. Let me know if you think so as well. Anyway, here they are. Oh hey look, I touched grass. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I do think I probably will keep this and kind of just let it grow and see where it goes, even though I'm generally awful with plants and tend to kill any plant I look at. But I like these, so we'll see what I can do. So this was kind of an interesting thing, I think. Obviously the experiment itself wasn't that interesting, but I really like how it turned out. With the nature prism, obviously. Anyway, I hope you liked the video, and I hope my pictures were at least halfway decent. 
and I'll probably do something to do with microscopes or something like that in the future because I've gotten more interested in that. And uh, this took a while to make, but it was pretty fun and I liked it. So uh, 